My name is Dr. Anil Kamath. I'm a senior surgical oncologist at Apollo Hospital, Bangalore. Now, what happens if the lady is diagnosed with cervical cancer? That is, the biopsy which is taken shows cervical cancer. The next step would be to see how much it has spread. This, in oncology terms, we call as staging. So we need to see if the cancer is just confined to the cervix, it has spread in and around the cervix or it has spread to distant far off areas like the liver and the lungs. Now based on the investigative modalities, at the end of investigations, the oncologist reaches that the cervical cancer is in uh, this particular stage. The stages are from stage 1 to 4. In early stage, that is in stage 1, the predominant treatment would be surgical. The procedure is called as a radical hysterectomy where the uh, entire uterus is removed along with the surrounding lymph nodes. In higher stages, that is between stage 2 and 3, the main treatment would be radiation. Radiation is something like an x-ray where uh, the area is marked based on an imaging, usually it is a CT scan and rays are delivered to that particular uh, area. Radiation is of two types. One is external radiation, where the radiation is given from in outside and the second would be called brachytherapy or internal radiation, where wires or molds are placed uh, within the vagina and radiation is delivered to the cervix. Both teletherapy and brachytherapy is likely to be required in carcinoma cervix. In more advanced cases, that the cancer, in cases where the cancer has already spread to distant areas, the main treatment would be chemotherapy, which are usually medicines which are administered by the IV route. So these are the various treatments for carcinoma cervix.